This video is an overview of the equipment and asset module. From accessing different sections to selecting options and filling in information, you will become familiar with the key features of the module. Firstly, access the equipment module by checking out the equipment dashboard. You can observe vehicle allocations completed, pre-start for the day, and maintenance utilization all in one comprehensive view. Within the equipment section, you have the ability to see all your assets and equipment consolidated in a single location. This allows you to easily identify which ones have been assigned to projects and which ones have not. The equipment page has been revamped with a fresh look. Now you can raise a fault, report, a defect, request a service or perform maintenance directly from the web page. Clicking on the cloud icon enables you to generate a QR code specific to that particular piece of equipment. We also have NFC tags that can be easily attached to any asset. These tags enable a specific action, such as tap on or tap off, and allow you to access all the records of that asset using your phone or tablet. Let's move on to categories. We've categorized all your equipment into different categories for easy identification and accessibility. Now you have the capability to see all your allocated equipment in various regions. With available GPS technology, seamless integration back into the system is possible providing you with a real-time live map that displays the location of all your assets. We can provide a selection of GPS trackers with different functionalities and pricing options. In the maintenance dashboard, you have the ability to observe all faults and defects raised from workers pre-start on the right-hand side. Additionally, you can access a list of both internal and external repairs Review all your faults, defects, and services, and schedule them to the appropriate workshop mechanic. You can easily observe all your workshop jobs in a weekly view as well, and even a monthly view. The expiry tab presents crucial information, including each vehicle's registration, expiry date, and inspection renewal dates. All the subheadings are customizable to align with your organization's needs and can be effortlessly exported in either CSV or Excel format. You have the capability to view and categorize all your assets. The upcoming Overdue Services tab now features a fresh look. You can now easily view the kilometers, engine hours, and service expiry dates. You can easily raise a service by clicking on the asset. We've introduced a new feature, an escalation list. This page provides visibility into the faults and defects that have been escalated within the organization. For instance, it will bring attention to situations like a fault service raised but not scheduled for over seven days, or a repair job initiated but not yet closed. We've introduced a new pre-start tab for convenient navigation. Now, you can easily view the pre-start from the last seven days. All your pre-start information is now prominently displayed. We've added a new shortcut for service forms, making it easier for you to navigate. Additionally, there's a shortcut for easy access to all your repairs displayed, featuring new reporting graphs. For enhanced visualization, you have the capability to initiate the service or check the pending parts it requires. Finally, we've introduced an expense dashboard that showcases the cost utilization of all your equipment. In this guide, we covered how to access the equipment dashboard, navigate through different sections, select options, and fill in information in the equipment module. By following these steps, you can effectively use the application to manage equipment, perform maintenance tasks, and generate reports. Thank you for watching the video. If you require any more assistance or would like to investigate our system further, please reach out or book a demo using the links provided in the video description.